All right, welcome, welcome. So, uh, thanks for coming out to the micro talks today. We appreciate you having here. Is everybody having a great conference? Yeah. Woo! All right. So, what do I mean when we talk about a personal operating system? So, what I'm going to share with you today is some strategies that you can frame around approaching developing new habits in your life. So, how many of you have ever set a goal before, right? See a couple hands here, right? I mean, end of year resolutions, right? I want to lose some weight. I want to read some more books. You know, I want to save some more money. And we're told that they need to be smart goals, right? Specific, measurable, actionable, relevant, time-based, right? So winners and losers all have the same goals, right? When the Olympians, when they go to the Olympics, right, everybody wants to win the gold medal. Sorry there. Uh, oftentimes you have bugs in your operating system like that, right? Uh, so what's, what's the problem with goals? If it's not the goals that is, is the thing, so what is it? So we, we talk about outcomes, processes, and identity. And this comes from a book by James Clear, uh, a book called Atomic Habits, where he talks about the outcome-based approach, which is the goal that you're searching for, right? Those are the, the things that you get. The processes are the things that you do, and the identity is what you believe in. So he suggests reframing this conversation to start with your identity first and then work through the processes and the outcomes. So it's very different to say, I'm the type of person who wants to do this or I am the type of person who is this. So for example, you have two people resisting a cigarette. One of them says, no thank you, I'm trying to quit smoking today. And the next person says, no thank you, I'm not a smoker. Those are subtle differences, but profoundly different approach from, this, from the person themselves. So how many of you remember Simon Sinek when he came and spoke at CHC a few years ago? He, he told us about start with why. And this is a very similar approach that you start from the core and then you work your way out to get the results that, that, you, that you achieve. So the goal is not to run the marathon, the goal is to become a runner. The goal is not to read a book. The goal is to become a reader. The goal is not to learn how to play a musical instrument. The goal is to become a musician. So build your operating system with the end in mind. But start from the core. Think about building the kernel first, right? So this is a Cerner uh, concept that we build with the end in mind. So what's the big idea? The big idea is start by focusing on who you wish to become first. Start at the core, start at the center, and then you can work your way out. Remind yourself of this every day. Focus is, is energy, energy is focus. And, and by writing that person who you wanna become, put it on a sticky note, put it on your bathroom, put it in your car so that you're constantly reminded about that person who you wanna become. So now that we've talked about where to start, what, is, what do the processes look like? So uh, the, the outcomes that you get in your life are the lagging measures of the things that happen to you every day, right? So if you know, your bank account is a lagging measure of how much you're saving every day or every week, uh, your health is a, a lagging outcome or a result of the things that you eat and how you take care of yourself and how you exercise. So in James Clear's book, he talks about this concept of tiny gains and that how effective 1% gain can be over time. So 1% is a crazy increase. You get the exponential compound just like in finance by 1% every day. Over one year, you'll be 37% better. And if that seems like a long time, in 70 days, you'll be twice as good. So get 1% better every day, right? Every little action that you take is a vote for your new identity. It reinforces the behaviors 
and the outcomes that you're trying to achieve. And just to kind of think about this in the operating system level, right, when lots of people get together and they contribute, the Linux kernel took 78,000 commits last year for those of you developers, right? That's a crazy amount of commits. That's actually not even the most. So what does progress really look like? Progress looks like this. Imagine you have an ice cube sitting on a table and it's 25 degrees in the room. And then it becomes 26 degrees and 27. And then it becomes 28 degrees. And still the ice cube is sitting there, right? Nothing has changed with the ice cube. It's 29 degrees. All this potential energy is building up. This is what progress is like in your life. When you're trying to develop a new habit, right? Nothing seems to happen. You don't get no visible response back. And then 31 degrees, right? And the ice cube is still sitting there. And then what happens? 32 degrees. The ice begins to melt, right? That's what progress looks like when you're trying to develop a new habit. For the longest time, that's why people never make it in developing a new habit because they never see the results. And just know that that 1% over time, even though you're not seeing the results, it will happen. So the big idea here is master the art of showing up. Show up every day. Do the thing that's necessary. If you want to become a better engineer, write, write more code. If you want to become a writer, write a sentence. Show up every day and do the thing that's necessary. So now that we've talked about the processes, right, what, how do we execute on this? So uh, B.J. Fogg wrote a book called Tiny Habits, and in that he obviously talks about tiny, right? Start tiny. And when we think about tiny, I'm like, okay, well, I'll only run, you know, three miles today. His, his concept of tiny is much different. His concept of tiny is floss one tooth, right? Do two push-ups. Don't, don't set a goal that I'm at my, my goal last couple years ago is do 100 push-ups, right? So I want to do 100 push-ups. But the problem was is I didn't develop a system where I showed up and did at least two push-ups, right? So a habit, you have to establish the habit first before it can be approved. And so when you're done with that tiny little habit, right, celebrate. I'm awesome. You're awesome, right? We, the problem with habits, like we talked about earlier, is that you get no visible response. So by telling yourself that you're awesome, you're getting that immediate feedback. So what's the big idea here? Start tiny. Do little things, and over the time, you'll, you'll create those systems and processes where you can improve yourself. So quick recap, believe in your new identity, show up, master the art of showing up, and then start tiny. And my hope and desire is that you'll take some of these ideas and concepts and Im incorporate them into your own life and change your outcomes. Thank you.